Hey guys, today I'm going to try and show you how to paint letters on your tires uh, the most consistent way that I know possible because it might seem really easy when you actually look at the pen you think you're just going to draw it straight on but it doesn't work that way, it's not that easy um, so I'm going to show you a way, you'll need more than one pen anyway for, the, for a full set of four or five um, but yeah, I'll get in and show you how to do it consistently and have each tire looking the same and each letter looking the same. And yeah. First up, what you're gonna want is some acetone. We'll be using that to get rid of all the contaminants and grease and stuff like that off the tire. Um, you'll definitely wanna do a really good job with this with um, not brand new tires. So these are brand new and as you can see, they're still a bit dirty. So. Just get the solvent on there, on the acetone. And don't leave it um, unscrewed because the fumes will get you. So just make sure you give it a good rub, um, get rid of any inconsistency that may show up. I already did these before because they were pretty bad. Just make sure there's nothing weird on them. No big, big marks. Alrighty. I am looking pretty good. Let's uh, get into the next step, which is probably. Let's get into the next step, which is probably the most important step in having each tire consistent and having the lettering actually smooth and not blotty and and bumpy and weird. Um, I haven't seen a video on someone doing this. It's not super conventional, but uh, it makes it so much easier and so much better to actually come out of the pen. And yeah, I'll show you that now. So in order to do it, um, you're gonna need something to cut the top of the pen off. Uh, I'm using a Stanley knife, really good sharp one. And what else you'll need is another pen. It doesn't matter if it's used or unused, it's not important, just need another pen. You'll need more than one anyway while you're doing it. And then just something like this, this isn't the packet that the pen came in, but if you use the packet the pen came in, you can put the paint in here and it works really well and so now i'm going to get the pen we want to use the paint from remove the lid not just the lid this part here so we can get paint flowing out really quickly and easily um and i'll quickly do that off camera uh because it's not that easy but what you're going to want to do with this pen i'm sure they're all the same there's only one in a i could find in australia um is cut here around there deeply it'll make the bottom part crack and then you can just wiggle it off and it's really easy to do from there but yeah if you have this brand which is pretty popular i'm pretty sure uh you can do exactly what i'm doing but i'll do that now off camera Alrighty, just an update on how to get the lid off of these um this one was actually different to this one um even though it's the same brand it might be newer um you can just screw it off really easily just ignore that cutting stuff that might help with other brands but you don't need to with this one that was just a bit dumb <laughs> anyway uh now that we've done that what i like to do is to get the paint nice and actually runny so the reason why i'm doing this is because when you're putting it on and applying it it gets really tacky really quickly and it gets really tacky because not much actually comes out of the of the tip it's like a normal uh, felt tip marker and because uh, I guess the viscosity of this is pretty pretty high pretty low the exact opposite of what I'm saying anyway um, it doesn't really run out or fill the pen and it dries out really quickly as well so I think it's pretty flawed design uh, personally especially against rubber it just tacks up way too quickly and not good um, so we're gonna heat this up with a heat gun that I have 
here. We'll heat it up a bit, not too hot, so you can still hold it. Um, and then we're gonna pour this into our little plastic container that we don't care about getting paint on because we can throw it out afterwards. Um, and yeah, I find that makes it run really easily. You can spread out the paint on the tire nicely and smoothly um, without it you know, running everywhere or not running at all and you get streak marks. If you tried it before without doing this, you'll know what I'm talking about, it's awful. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna heat that up now, position the camera so you can see me put it on the tire and we will go from there. Alrighty, we have got our paint, a little bit of paint in here with the old pen and what we're going to do is instead of relying on paint coming out of the tip we are going to dip it in ourselves into the paint i found this works way better um, and is a, a lot more consistent compared to the other way so i find if you go along with the grain of the tire which isn't on this one but on the uh other side where it says razor um it goes uh horizontally when you're looking at it um and if you go along with that it's a lot easier than going against it but with this one um it's really nice and flat so it's pretty easy but yeah um just make sure you make the pen really caked up or well not caked up because it's not dry uh really kind of soaked in the in the paint and it will allow you to really smoothly cover more area compared to if it's not very um saturated and just another tip when you're doing this it dries up very quickly so make sure you have all the area you want uniform um, while you still have it wet because you can't do here and then go back over here I'll show you it'll pick up again see that little mark it's uh yeah it moves along that quickly it's not it's not uh, very friendly but if you do it this way that I'm showing you it's really really nice and easy I just wish <laughs> I realized this sooner. It was not a fun time trying to do this the first time. But yeah, um, on the first coat, thickness isn't, um, or full coverage isn't, you know, that important. Just make sure you get an even, an even layer the first time round. And you figure out where all the edges are and the corners are and just get some paint on that because when you come around this for the second coat uh it'll be really uniform and the paint is much easier to paint on than uh the rubber so you'll have a much more fun time um the second time around because yeah it's a much more paint friendly surface painting on paint but yeah um as we finish this one up that's kind of it and if you want to touch up little areas lightly very 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 lightly dab it on don't do it hard and doing that i'm barely touching it i'm just feathering it on there because it'll lift up the paint if you do it too heavy and just little little dabs But there we go, um, it's a bit uneven, but it's good enough for the first coat. Um, it'll dry a bit more flat, I'm hoping. It has for the other ones anyway. And yeah, I will quickly do all the other ones and show you the second coat. So it's now a new day and we're going to put on the final coat.
for the last tire. So you can see there's a little bit of um, overdoing on this one. Uh, this one, not so much, but I did this in a bit of a rush because I had somewhere to be. So if you're in a rush, don't do that. But um, the good thing is it's really easy to actually fix that. All you need is a Stanley knife. And what you can do is, I'm not gonna do all of it now in case I spill some more um, on the final coat, but you can just really easily uh, peel it off. Like it just comes off. It's easy with two hands. But yeah, um, we're gonna do the final coat and then we can see the, see the finished product. Finally done painting. Smoothed out all the little bumpy parts. Um, there's still these bits here, which I need to get rid of. But uh, I'm gonna wait for it to all fully dry because when it dries on the tire, it just kind of flakes off, sort of thing. If it's not on properly or thick enough, or you haven't cleaned the surface, it comes off really easily. So I'm gonna wait an hour or so. It's actually Mother's Day, so. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> um, maybe have lunch and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna come back, peel off all the paint down on here. And then we'll be good. I'll put it up next to the car, see what it's gonna look like. And yeah, then that's it and we're done. That has taken way too long, um, but I think it's kind of worth it. And I wasn't doing it the technique I was showing you from the beginning, so. If I did it that way, I'd probably be able to do all the tires within an hour instead of a few days of trial and error. But yeah, let's cut to that pic now, or that video. So here is the finished product. I think they look pretty good. I'm really, really, really happy with them. I think it looks so good. It's gonna look so nice when the arches are fitted in and we got it all buttoned up and good to go. I think it looks awesome. <laughs> I just with the, the big wheels, <laughs> they're so much bigger and so much wider. <laughs> it looks like a bit of a tank. Uh, nah, well, I think they're good.